Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. We are back today to continue working on creating Julia. I have done a little bit more to the cover and to page one. So let's start. This is the finished or the more completed one that I have done. I will work you through it. So this is the cover. Love how it looks. We have, I've rounded the spine and love the images, the little snippets. I love snippets. I love all kinds of snippets. We're still going to be adding things to this, but we work on it slowly and we get it done. So that's the cover we're going to create. And I've chosen a doily to lay inside. And also we have finished page one. We will complete page one today on camera. It is with that handmade paper and we have embellished it. So I think it turned out beautifully. So when it's finished, it looks like this and it's, it's shabby, not grungy, but shabby, torn, torn, light colored lace bits. I'm still going to be putting other things and stuff on it, but this is for right now. So let's start with the cover. Let's get our unfinished one. And this is my prototype, of course. So this is the one we're working on. This is Julia. I'm going to put this aside because right now I'm not using this, but maybe I will in the future. Let's take out this page one and, or the cover in page one. And I'm going to put this back on the side in one of my many piles here. And so we can get started. This page I'm going to put to the side and let's do the cover. So what we are going to do is take off the paper clips that I have put on so far. This little image here, we're going to save for the cover. And here, let me just put it to the side for now and take off the paper clips. So by now, hopefully you have got your envelopes together and I'm going to untape them. Because when I, I, I tape them up just to temporarily hold them in place, and then I take the tape off once I've decided that yes, that's what I would like to do with them. And here we are. So my envelopes, when they are closed, measure three and three quarters by five and three quarters. They don't have to be exactly like this, but a similar small size envelope. So I'm just going to place a paperweight there and I use my mat to line it up. And if this is at three and three quarters, I'm gonna move over to four and three quarters. So I'm gonna move over one inch. Move over one inch and that's where this other closed envelope will sit like that. So let's add a little bit of glue onto the edge. This cover will be glued and sewn. So let's pay, place it at four and three quarters. I'm just, whatever your envelope is, you're going to leave a one inch gap for your spine. And I'm applying glue to the lid of the, or the flap of the envelope and I'm just going to close it shut there we have it so now I am that's the outside since we have this lying down like this let's get the piece of paper that's the inside paper so this is the paper that I have used from junk with Steph collage volume 12 the lady in the apple cart and the postage stamp. So I am going to 
line it up along the bottom and along the right hand side. So, oh, I see I'm gonna have to grab a new glue stick because this is out. Cover turned out nice. Sometimes I can plan a cover and completely do the cover. Other times I just start with what I like and then as I progress, I just add to it. So right now I am applying a glue stick to the right hand side of the envelope and I am lining it up right in the corner and it's hard to see. I know I moved it slightly so we can take off that little bunny rabbit. And I'm just going to add some more glue. I add it in strips because it's just easier. Easier for me to lay down. This is such pretty printable. I've chosen some fabrics for hinges. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, let this set for just a little bit and I'll show you the fabrics for the hinges. So I have other more, there's other dark navy in here as well. So with little strips of that fabric, the strips of the eyelet and maybe strips of this all together, because I combine three, a plain, a bigger fab print fabric and a smaller print fabric. So those three will be hinges. And this white is an eyelet I showed you. These I found while I was looking for doilies, these. So these little bits I'm gonna add to the top of pages occasionally. So that's what you can do with these kind of doilies. So these will be put aside. So I've gathered those. So now this one, let's trim off the excess. And I'm just cutting around the envelope. And this is the back side. And then we'll glue on the front paper. So this is the inside of the book and I am going to mark the center. Where's my pencil? This is the center of my book. So just find your center and make a little pencil line there. You'll need that for scoring. Boy, it looks like I gotta clean my mat. It's getting a little bit sticky and this thing is very dry. Okay, so make sure that you're right side up and flip it over. Line it up on my grid again. And this is where I'm going to line up on the bottom and on the right hand side. And let's glue that on. Just going to put glue on one side of the envelope so that on the right hand side just for now what a beautiful image this is and add some glue to this other part of the envelope stick there that's gonna look so nice 
love these coastal images. I think they're just gorgeous. So hopefully these will be short little videos that I'll do a couple, only say two pages at a time. So this is the cover. And that's a little bit of paper sticking out. I wasn't sure if it was the envelope. So it's this paper, so you can trim that off. the way around this before we can get gluing on here. So let's mark our score marks because right now I marked a score mark from the center. So if we just place it down and fold it. Okay, I don't like folding my papers when they're still wet with the glue because you just saw what happened. They pucker up. So we're gonna let this lay flat for a while. I have my center line. I just wanted to show you that it would be just a flat book alligatored. We are going to add score marks because we don't want an alligatored book. We want a rounded, a rounded spine. So at the center mark, you're gonna make a score line. Quarter of an inch to the right, make a score line and another score line. So that's, so you, within half an inch, you have one, two, three lines. And from that center line again, that's the first line. You're gonna go quarter of an inch to the left and another quarter of an inch to the left. So you see within one inch, I have one, two, three, four, five score marks. One, two, three, four, five. So this will sit. And as we, I want it to dry, but as it does dry, we can fold up and it'll go round and round. It'll go like a nice circle. So it'll be a rounded. That's how you can round your spine, is if you create it like that. So let's put this back. Because instead of having a, a point for a spine, I like a, a rounded arc. It just sits really nice. I'll show you the, the dried cover. I don't want to wreck this. Leave it flat. So you can see this one here. And I like the loose lace. That's why it's only, right now, it's just only sewn singly. And I have scored it so you can see how it's arced right here. I think that's so nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we have a couple layers on here. We have our eyelet, eyelet, cotton eyelet spine. So let's find my cotton eyelet spine, which is right here. So I just tore a strip of eyelet, eyelet by the meter, and it was, this one was tea dyed and then baked in the oven to dry. And if you see these colorations, it's because it was pooled in that area. So this piece is about two inches wide and whatever your envelope is, it's about a quarter inch higher and a quarter inch lower. So I take my glue stick to just tack this in place and I'm not gonna go right to the edge because if it were me and I was creating this, I would take this to the sewing machine right now and I would do one complete stitch all the way around. It's sewn. Now I take my glue stick down the center, just a little bit on the side. And I take my, my, I'm gonna, follow a follow my dark grid line and that's the center line I'm following so if this should be two inches it goes up a little shorter 
narrower than two inches because the fabric was torn. So let's go like that and like that. And I'm not, I'm because I have not sewn this one, I'm not going to glue it right to the end because I still have to go and I have to sew this round because I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. So I glued on my eyelet. The next thing I wanna do is take a piece of cheesecloth. And it is approximately four by six. And I'm going to take my glue stick again and I'm going to place glue along the top. I'm For me, I'm not going to put glue along the here because I have to bend it back and sew yet. But across the top, down. For me, I'm not going to put glue there because I have to bend this back and across the bottom. So we are going to move this to the side and this is cut with scissors. So I like to see the edges. So I'm just gonna hold it firmly. And there's a little bit of glue on there. And I'm just going to fray some of the edges like that and get rid of that. So let's start and I'm going to scrunch it all together this wide. So if it's about two inches wide, I'm gonna scrunch this about two inches wide. Move it over right at the top and just have it stick over right across the top somewhat. And I did that. I'm going to get, where are my little pieces? I don't see them. I don't see my pieces. What did I do with them? This is what? That's for this. Here we are. Okay, these are my torn cotton lace. And the, the last bit of this lace I'm using in this journal because that's all I have for the torn cotton lace. And these were just pieces that I had arbitrarily just ripped already. I want to have a little bit sticking down underneath here. Okay, this is hard, so I'm going to cut. This I want to dangle off the bottom, so I'm going to take my glue stick. Eventually, I'll be sewing one line down the center. I use a Teflon nonstick needle in my sewing machine. so it doesn't bother the glue. Okay, and you saw I just laid it down and flicked it with my finger. And now I'm going to scrunch this bottom. I'm holding it at the top, scrunching the bottom and placing it within my spine. And if there's not enough glue, you're gonna have to take a glue stick and just add a little bit. There we are, whoops. Glue on the top is not a good thing. You want it underneath. Okay, so we have some of that torn cotton coming out the center. And you saw how I put it on and I squashed. I put it on and I squashed. Squashed, nothing happened. So get the glue stick and add a little bit of glue. Okay. Leave our glue stick open because is this all I have? I got this little bit. So I'm going to use my finger and just try to fray this. I want to leave, I want to see this cheesecloth, so I'm going to, not straight up and down, I'm going to angle it. 
because I want it to be loose on the sides once I sew it down. So it's going to sit like that. This one here needs to be frayed. And let's, let's see if we stretch it a bit. Okay, this is going to just lay, lay like that. Maybe we can lower this one a bit. Okay, this is where it's going to sit. So now I'm going to get two little stick pins. Because I am going to find my center again. This is the center. And I'm just sticking it in the cloth just as a visual where my center is. Not through the paper, just the cloth. So you would have sewn all the way around this part already. Now I would take it to my sewing machine, stick it in my sewing machine, start right at the center, right at the top, and I would go Actually, I would start down about half inch. I would back stitch to the top, sew all the way down, and back stitch about half an inch. That way, you have this sewn stitch all the way around, and then you have this stitched. So that's where we are right now. On the inside, you have a stitch down the center, and you have a stitch all the way around. The next thing we're going to do is to make this little decoration on the side. I have to put away my paper clips. Can't have stuff lying around. Okay, so we are going to find some the things and stuff. I'm going to move this out of the way here so I can use my little grid here to measure. So I need a piece of cheesecloth, and this cheesecloth is... Cut with scissors approximately three and a half by two and a half. And I just want to pull the edges slightly because I want frayed edges. Okay, and it will be, let's just create a collage from this right here, sitting here. And Actually, it'll be easier, it'll sit better if I just, yes, I'm in camera. I'm just putting a little dot of glue. In the corner. So let's place it approximately so it hangs off about half, half an inch. Like that. I have this piece of lace which measures about two and a half by two. It's a cotton lace, probably a cotton knitted lace. And this bit. And all of these are a little bit different sizes. Approximately two by three and then I'm missing some of the corner. So you just want to make sure that it's, you want to see some of this, you want to see all of these as you look at them. So something's getting a little bit smaller and this is just too solid. So let's get rid of that. This is quite heavy and dark. Oh, see, cotton. Okay, let's just get do that. Whoa. Okay, that's very pretty. I'm gonna need a little bit of glue though, just to hold it in place. There we are. Oops, and let's put a little bit of glue just on the back of that. And which is the right side up. Yes, it's this way because I can read the words this way. And we are going to center that. 
and I see now that it's just a little wonky, so I'm just going to move it a bit. This one here, yes, it's the same size paper. I left it on my card, that this is a quarter of an inch on my cover, and a quarter of an inch on my cover. This one, if we do the same thing, it'll be like that, and it, oops, let's move him over. We don't want to cover up her face. Okay, it's about an eighth of an inch. So this one will be right here. So now I take this to the sewing machine and I don't know if you can see it. I have stitched along the stamp mark. So along the back, it's stitched along the stamp. And then that for right now is finished. I like how it sits. Love this loose lace and love the, the neutrals that we're going for in here. I think that's very beautiful. So that one is done. I'm gonna put this aside because I will be finishing it after I'm off. Oh, here, let's bring this back. So this, you would have sewn this and this is your cover. So I've decided to take this doily. This is a crocheted white doily and I like combining whites with creams and I'm going to be lining up my doily in the center just like this. It'll be held in place once I stitch in my sew in my signatures. So it'll be sitting like this in my book. I like to have a piece of doily laying down on my book. So the next page we are going to work on is this one. One. Where are we here? That one goes there. This one goes here. And this is the next page we're going to finish. This is that handmade paper. I'm going to sew on a the last piece of this I have just for this one book. I'll have to choose something else for the other books because I'm making six. So let's create this page. Let's start on this side, which is the right side. Let's take this little bit off. Okay, so uh, where are my pieces? You have these two from the printable. Sometimes they, you can see this one, it printed, it's not exactly fitting on top of that one. I like it like that because it gives me a border. So let's find the, oh, this is the right way because the tree is growing that way. And which is the right way. Can I read the words? Yes, I can. So we're going to glue that on top. We're going to glue one, the smaller one on the larger one. Love that. Love the whites and the ivories. So after this dries a bit, I take it to my sewing machine and I stitched around that line of the ticket. So you have stitching on both sides. So I'm going to use this now. I'm going to move that one to the side. And I also have all these leftovers. So this is piano roller paper. So let's, oh, I think I have one over here already started, so I might as well use that. Let's take this and this. Okay, let's take some of this piano roller paper. And this little page, when it's torn, is approximately six and a quarter by four and a half. And it's folded irregularly, so I can see both of these ends. Open it up and find a bunny rabbit and I want this 
to be glued down there. So let's get a pair of scissors or we can we here, let's see. Let's see if I can just tear this. this I'm going to save. This piano roll paper I am going to glue on there. I'm going to use my glue stick. I like this outline about a quarter of an inch all the way around that I see the background. And now is that along this side? No, it's on that side. Okay, so I'm going to take my ticket and I am going to place my ticket. So I want this corner. That's just me. I like that. So where it goes rounded, I'm going to stick it here and I'm going to find out where it's about... want to see those two marks so I'm going to glue it right here whoa so let's oh am I going to be just wait before I do this did I sew that on okay we're going to wait with this one we're going to put this back so we have this let's turn it over because we have some sewing to do on this side. Let's add some piano music. And I'm going to use these three and I'm going to go in between my music staffs and I'm going to tear it. bottom. And I'm going to tear this side. Okay, so I'm going to see going to put this here. I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to cut this off so I can save this little portion. This will be saved. This one here, I'm just going to, I should have ripped it a different way. I like more jagged edges. So I'm just making it a little bit more jagged. Okay. And I want it to, I have to do some measuring. So let's go back this way. And let's find our... The strip that I'm using, I have to cut some of this off because I just want, am I in the center? Center line. I want it to sit like that and one of these to hang over. So I've got to cut off this. So you see how my fabric hinge is extending about a quarter of an inch over? And take my glue stick and I'm going to glue this on for right now. Go to the sew sh sewing machine shortly and we will be sewing this so let's take this we're going to center it in the middle of our spine making sure our fabric or this in this case it's lace trim heavy lace trim so 
this is on the outside of our outside of our page like that. Okay, let's turn it over. And we need to put on that music paper. And I want to put the music paper so it just extends slightly. It covers up that straight edge. So it's just going to go down a little bit for me. And I'm going to have the same amount left to right. And so I know where I want to place this when I come back. I made a pencil mark. And now I'm going to add some glue on the back of this sheet music. And you need to make sure you have a fair amount of glue because the sheet music is only going to be sewn down the center once I sew the fabric hinge on or the lace hinge. So let's make sure you can read the music if there's words and line it up with my dot. And it's going to sit like this. take this piece, make sure this is down. I'm going to add a fair amount of glue to this because it's only going to be glued on. And I want to see where it's going to sit. Let's see. Let's stick it over the edge slightly, so I have to move, figure out where I want to place my glue. Okay. Okay, I already forgot which end is which. Let's put a little bit everywhere. Oh, wow. Do you see all that glue come down? Wow. Oh, I think I put glue on the wrong side of the flower. So we'll... And everything's falling. Might have to wipe some of the glue off. I want it to stick out a little bit. There. There's my little baby wipe that's dry. Yes, that's why my mat is kind of sticky. So that's the front. Let's continue doing the inside bit. The inside bit, I'm going to use the sewn around ticket on the back. I'm going to use a piece. Uh oh, where is, oh, here we are. I was looking for this bit. I want to get a piece of cheesecloth. And how big of a cheesecloth do I need? Well, I want to have this about like that. I want one of these lines to hang off the side. So this will go underneath, starting about, about here. So I'm going to get, get my glue stick. I'm getting my glue stick because... We're going to be sewing this on. So let's go like that. Spreading this out. Not sure how much I need here. So let's just do this over here. Actually, it's going to go on the back. So let's add it over here instead. This is getting to be a little bit narrow. Let's go like that. And open it up. Kind of trying to stretch it out a bit. So there we are. And that's sticking out.
Okay, so now at this point, you are going to stick this in your sewing machine. And we're going to do a V. We're going to go from this corner down to the center and out to that corner and back. So when it is sewn, you see the sewing adds decoration and it keeps it secure. The glue will hold it on, but I just wanted stitching. So after it's stitched, after you stitch this, you're going to turn it over and you're going to add your tacky glue to the back of this. And you are going to place it, you're going to glue it down right there. I have to do my sewing on this one. So when it's glued, it will look like this. What you have to do now, you have to take this to the sewing machine and you have to double, let's go sing all the way down. And all the way up. So you're double stitching your hinge on one side and then you're double stitching the hinge down on the other side. So it looks like this when it's done. It's double stitched and then it's double stitched. So when you turn it over on this side you just have the two lines here. When you turn it over on this side you have those reverse stitching lines from your hinge and then you have that little V with the ticket poking out. So inside of your book, it looks like this. So you have the start of your book and you have you open it up. And right now we have a doily in here resting and we have this other lace page. That's all for today, everyone. I'm going to continue working and I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you enjoy these two pages. I think they turned out just gorgeous. Bye for now.